Here is your SpaceX daily update. The launch of a super secret military plane has been scrubbed two times in a row, but it should go tonight, Tuesday. And SpaceX shared this on X shortly before the liftoff was scheduled for Monday. They wrote, standing down from tonight's Falcon Heavy launch due to a ground side issue, Vehicle and payload remain healthy. Team is resetting for the next launch opportunity of the US Space Force 52 mission, which is no earlier than tomorrow night or Tuesday. So we will have our eyes on the launch for tonight and it will be streamed live on X. The two side boosters will land at landing zone one and two and the center core booster will be expended. And keep in mind, this is the first time the US military secretive X-37B space plane will launch on top of a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. The last time we saw a launch of the space plane was back in May of 2020 on an Atlas V rocket. In this mission, the seventh for the space plane is expected to have a higher orbit than previous missions. Also, a big thanks to S.D. Robinson Jr. for his own SpaceX update where I learned the following. Jared Isaacman stated he was at SpaceX on Saturday for EVA suit testing for the next Polaris Dawn mission. Per Jared, this is an evolution of the development suits. Suit picks will be released in advance of mission, but I don't know when around April is the goal to launch and the pace of training is accelerating. So make sure to give S.E. Robinson Jr. a follow as he does his own daily written updates about SpaceX and all of Elon Musk's companies. And also, we have an update about the once again delayed ULA Vulcan rocket. Tori Bruno shared the rocket was rolled back to the pad. The ground side leaks that interfered with completing Friday's wet dress rehearsal were fixed over the weekend. So the next wet dress rehearsal is today, December 12th. Fred Bruno still stands by no earlier than January 8th as the next launch attempt. Part of the mission is the I Need More Moon project done by TJ Cooney of I Need More Space, a popular space YouTube channel. He and his contributors have now been waiting over two years to launch their mission, so let's hope it goes. Peregrine is the rocket's primary payload, a lunar lander built by Astrobotic, which will deliver scientific experiments for NASA and other payloads to the moon. And the next attempt will occur likely no earlier than January 8th. And this is your final reminder that time is running out to get your own Starship IFT-1 design. This is from the 420 launch. So no FUD, no RUD on the design there. And the store closes December 14th, so time is running out to get these in time for Christmas. I appreciate everyone who has ordered, but unfortunately not very many people ordered. So this is my last attempt, and then you'll stop hearing about these. But if you do order, just remember that it really does help the channel. So thank you for all of your support for Ellie in Space.